Hey man, how's it going? Remember me, DJ Neural Noob? If you don't remember me, then you must not have watched my other video where I taught you how to generate music without needing any skills. Well, today's episode will complement that video because now I'm going to show you how to add AI vocals to your music using some cool text to singing tools. Let's check out the first one. The first text to singing tool we're going to look at is called Voice Mod, which is totally free. Just go to the text to song option and then hit generate song free. They've got a decent amount of song types to choose from ranging from pop to EDM to urban. Unfortunately, I can't play any of them for you due to copyright. Pick a genre and then hit next to pick your AI singer. Okay, let's just pick this one. Hit next and then you'll have to write in some lyrics and type out what you want your AI singer to sing. Since I'm too lazy to come up with my own lyrics, I'm just gonna ask ChatGPT to write some verses for me really quick. Let's paste those lyrics in there and then hit the create song button. There is a cue, so depending on how many people are ahead of you, the wait can be really fast or really slow. While we can't play the music due to copyright, we can still listen to his voice a cappella. In the world of wires and circuits, a melody begins to ignite voices. Rise, oh, how they're gifted singing songs that reach new heights. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon about making a hit record. You don't really have any control over how fast or slow he says certain words as well as the timing so you'll just have to play around with it until you figure it out. Let's try the same lyrics again, but use a different guy. In a world of wires and circuits, a melody begins to ignite voices, rise oh how they give to singing songs, singing songs, singing songs, that reach new heights. I guess that was better. Let's move on to the next tool. This next text to singing AI tool is called Song R, and like Voice Mod, this app is also totally free. How cool is that? Right now, there are four genres to pick from. You can either write a topic for the song in the prompt field, or you can just select I have my own lyrics and it will sing whatever you give to it. If you gave it a topic, it will give you a chance to edit the lyrics if you want. Then you have to choose who you want to sing your song, Emily or Kevin. Once you decide that, just hit the render button. All right, let's hear it. All day, all night, we talk about the how it's gonna change the world and make everything all right. Wow, that was actually pretty good. Now let's give the guy a chance and see if he can top that. All right, Kevin, let's see what you got. We're going to give you piano rock with the topic. I want to party all night. Let's hear it. It's Friday night and I'm feeling alive I want to go out and have some fun No more sitting at home all night I'm ready to party till the sun comes up 
I'm gonna let loose and have a good time. I want to dance and drink all night. No more worries or cares. I'm just gonna let go and feel the music flow. The beat is pumping and I'm feeling right. I want to let loose and just enjoy the night. No more stress or worries. I'm just gonna let go and have some fun. I want to party all night. I want to dance and drink all night long. I'm ready to let loose and have some fun. So let's go out and paint the town. We'll party all night and we'll let loose. We'll dance and drink till the sun comes up. And when the night is done. Bravo, Kevin. Bravo. Okay, so we have one more AI tool to look at, but before we do, I do need to warn you that this is uncharted territory for me. This next AI text to singing tool is a plugin which requires you to have a DAW or digital audio workstation. If you don't know what that is, that's okay. I didn't either until about a month ago. Basically, a DAW is a music production software that lets you record, edit, mix, and master audio. And yes, it's ironic that I'm a DJ and don't know any of this, but I'm a DJ that uses AI-generated music, so I don't need to know any of that. All right, that's enough talk. Let's see if I can pull this off. This is the Mvoice homepage. You're going to want to hit that download button up here to download the plugin. The plugin is actually free, but you have to pay for full use of the four voices. You're allowed to play around with them for free, but you're limited to only seven notes. Let's hear the voices. I never shut my eyes again. I never shut my eyes again. Listen, I don't want to say it, but I hope you know what this is. We fell in deep. We fell in deep. Hello, my name is Lucy. I'd really love like My name is Jay. I could be singing for you now. I could be, I could be singing for you now. They sound pretty real, don't they? Oh, and this was that digital workstation I was talking about. Go to reaper.fm to download it and try it out for 60 days free of charge. You don't have to give them your credit card info either for the free trial. After that, you'll have to pay $60 for a discount license. If you make more than $20,000 a year using it commercially, then you need to get the commercial license, which is $225. This is the Reaper Digital Audio Workstation. Unfortunately, in order for me to show you the Mvoice app, you're going to have to see me stumble through Reaper. After downloading Mvoice, you'll need to insert a new track, then click on the FX button and find the Mvoice 1 plugin. A new window will pop up, and this is where we type in what we want the AI synth voice to sing. Just double-click on any box, and it will sing in that key. Now, if you've never played a piano or don't know anything about music scales, just stick to using the white keys, which is the key of C major. This should keep you from entering any bad notes. Highlight all of the, the notes and press the play button to hear what they sound like together. The, if you didn't the, type in any text the, in the boxes underneath the note, it will just sing la for each note. You can also shorten or lengthen each note so that each word is sung either faster or slower. La, la. We're going to go up and down the music scale now and connect all of the boxes together so it's saying as one whole verse rather than separate words. La, 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 la. Now let's put some words in there to see what that sounds like.
do re mi fa so la ti do. Some words you're gonna have to spell phonetically to get it to sing it right. Do re mi fa so la ti do. Do re mi fa so la ti do. There you go. Now let's make the last note longer and add some vibrato to it, which is this squiggly line right here. Do re mi fa so la ti do. You can also change the voice settings to have the singer sing in different ways. Now I did buy the voice banks for Keela and Thomas, so I do have access to more than what the free version offers. Do re mi fa so la ti do. Do re mi fa so la ti do. You can also do pitch shifts by breaking up the notes, which will cause the pitch to change mid word. Do re mi fa so la ti do. You probably don't want to use it this way, but I'm sure you'll figure it out. Okay, now the hard part. If you're a beginner like me, you probably don't know how to add instruments or loops or beats to your song. So I actually have a workaround for that. Remember when I did that video on generated AI music with Soundful? Let's head over there and make a new track. Now the important thing is to remember is to make sure that the key is in C major. That way we can just use the white piano keys on the M Voice app and it won't sound off. Now that we've got our music, we're going to insert a second track for our Soundful music file. Then we're going to hit insert media file and upload the song. All right, it works. When you hit the play button on the bottom left corner, it will play both the music and whatever you typed in the M Voice app at the same time. The trick here is to figure out when to start the singing. Usually songs have an intro and then the singing begins. You just have to listen for when the rhythm changes. Another thing you can do is look at the frequencies on the MP3 file. If you look closely, the frequencies start to change at about nine seconds, which gives me a clue on where the singing should start. I'm just gonna go up and down the scales using the white keys and try to get the melody to match the beat before I start typing in lyrics. Okay, I guess this is good enough. In order to save some time, I asked ChatGPT to come up with some lyrics for me. I tried to be specific and asked for each verse to be 16 syllables long, since that's how many lyric boxes I had to fill in, but I guess it can't count syllables. That's fine. It did most of the work for me. All I needed to do now was add some extra words in so that everything would match up. And this is what we ended up with. While it might not be the greatest song ever made, at least you know enough to get you started. Imagine adding this to a Kyber or Runway ML video. Or even better yet, what if you gave a singing voice to your AI avatar? Hmm, you know what? I think that sounds like a great idea. Tune in next time to see what kind of crazy combination of AI tools we can come up with. And please hit that subscribe button if you like what you're watching. See you soon.